Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. I thought I would do a special read for my beautiful souls out there that are feeling a little anxious, unsure, undirected, um, anything that brings uncertainty into your realm right now. Like you just feel like you're right on that precipice. You know you're probably going through a spiritual upgrade and your mind gets overloaded when that happens often or when we're trying to upgrade our life in general, make a change, make an important choice. Um, we don't want other people trying to dictate our futures to us anymore. We really um, are starting to get a sense what a person is like just by looking at them for a few seconds, right? And maybe on one day or yesterday they seemed all right and today we're like, whoa, man, your intentions are off and they are not for the good of the collective me or anybody else. And it's hard when that um, reality sinks in, right? Wow, I've spent years around these people places are things and it's like amazing right you just instantly know if they're trustworthy honest and kind or the opposite and you're like wow so i feel like a lot of you have huge fluctuating um <clears throat> energy surges right now and i know for certain that a, a great deal of my clients do i mean yesterday was a catapult of messages to me that people were just having these extreme bouts of anxiety of pressure and the thing is that it's hard to tell somebody when they're going through that, that that anxiousness and all that is basically just in your mind. But there are so many good coping mechanisms and you guys are almost in the clear. There is, it was something just cosmically, the way everything was aligned that was very combative and very um, confrontational as well as um, cerebrally like overload. It was like, it was just too much because what happens is it's like... Um, well, we have to be careful of one thing. As you know, like in our brain, there's these dendrites and they work as the little connectors of our brain and they strengthen it. It's like wiring, right? So when we do crossword puzzles and things like that, it builds that circuitry up and makes it stronger. And it's like anything new that we want to learn. Um, we're going to have a hard time doing that if we're focused on things that make us scared, worried, um, we think we're lacking in something, we need to do something quickly. It releases cortisol and all these other things to our bloodstream that actually they can work like almost like paralytics. We stop anything that's good for us. So we need to drop all that and we have all these lovely messages today of what is actually going to come about for you, the messages that are meant for you, how to relax into, relax into self, take a deep breath, know that all is well. Sometimes things just get on top of us, right? I, I had these moments yesterday too. I don't know if it was with all the catastrophe cats doing things, but you know, I was trying to get some jewelry things in order, formulate ideas for my um, uh, well, layouts for my course over on Patreon and I overwhelmed myself. And it was like, so when anything would stop me in my um, stream of thought, I was like getting very agitated. And I remember it was just, that is contagious. So we have to remember that when we're around animals and family members that it's contagious. And it's very easy to release. Actually, the best thing to do is get outside immediately. If you're in an office or your house, get out in nature and ground out, stare straight up at the sky stare straight out at the ocean and it's almost like a cleansing breath and it's such a renewal and switch process it just flips that switch from um, stress to a beautiful breath of fresh air and usually that's exactly what it is if you're outside it's it's a reality check right get out of that mind and get into nature so we're going to have a three um card choice right here let me see what's going on you're probably here allow me Alan, because the mother kitty is crazy number one is apophyllite and this is increased support your positive focus and willingness to receive have opened the doorway to an abundance of help and and opportunities because when we're in our heightened misery or anxiety we're not looking out for opportunities we're in stress mode right and it makes us be too much inward to see what's outward what's there for us and we can connect to in a beautiful way right so number two is Mal malachite and it's about prosperity there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support i feel this it's like a I feel like today when I woke up, it was like a fresh new dawning of a day and a new, um, beautiful, more like silvery, sparkly energy as opposed to some of yesterday's murky gray and green heavy energies. It's just really about this portal and the shift and really divine support is letting you know that everything's okay. When you see things as, um, you know, able to readily um, face and conquer, it's it's 
amazing what you can do if you break it down into bite-sized pieces and go, okay, so I have a lot on my agenda. What I'll do is I'll accomplish the first three things, okay, A, B, and C. And once you start that momentum, you feel really good. And then you realize the majority of it, our head will always exaggerate tasks. I don't know why, or because first of all, our ego is saying, well, it has to be great. It has to be this. That's when procrastination will start to slip in all of that. So we have to just remove that. As soon as we hear any negative self-talk, push it to the side. Start, first of all, make yourself smile. It actually tricks yourself into thinking you're in a good mood. After 60 seconds, all those um, endorphins that come with feeling good and smiling because you're doing that, it's like a memory bank. You'll actually start to feel better. Okay, start humming, listen to music, do whatever um, lifts that brain burden when it starts to overwhelm you for sure because this is all coming in. And then we have lapis lazuli, life-changing epiphany or experience. It's time for a big and blessed change for you and God supporting you in each and every way. And I believe this 100% for everybody watching this. And feel free to watch all three because they're all going to have messages of sort of lifting and shifting because it's the time for that, right? We're going to let go and we're going to be on our way. We're going to be on our way to success, um, greater um, connections in our relationships. All of a sudden, your eyes are just going to be open. I mean, you're you're going to see the hidden motives of others and they're, it's going to be so glaringly obvious. So you're going to be able to navigate these waters without anybody affecting you anymore because you're just going to know, which is fantastic. Okay, so number one, Apophyllite. Number two, Malachite. And number three, Lapis Lazuli. I'll let you pick. Okay, and we are going to start with your message for number one unexpected visitors. Now, I believe that some of you are, you're going to get calls, emails or whatever from relatives and friends. This is a good thing. And they're going to be connecting with you and saying, hey, what are you doing? Would you like to go do this? Would you like to go do that? And it's going to be really a game changer for you because whatever information you garner for this person that comes and visits you, they're divinely directed to you to actually help you through this thing. And it can be all through the internet. It can be people that you've connected with on a soul level. And I've had that experience quite often right now. I mean, with Hazelberry and all these lovely people that are shifting and growing and having all this great refinement in their life. It's like that can be an unexpected visitor. Somebody just peeking in your door and say, hey, could you lend me a hand with this? And or you help them and it lifts you and helps you to expand. Sometimes giving is, is you know, right up there with receiving because um, it just is, you know, it makes us feel good. But again, we have to remember to be in a receptive state. We're not always giving. So look at this. And I feel like this is your gift. You're going to have some clairvoyance coming in. So Archangel Rezile says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. And I feel what's going to be beaming down on you is insights, insights that change your life and others around you because you're feeling really, honestly, divinely guided and protected. I have to say, I took so many shifts today. I was very tired when I woke up. I had to drive my son to his practice. And I was like, why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? And then I could see the kitten trying to put, one of the kittens put their little tiny paw under the door and I could see the little furry paw go back and forth, back and forth. And it changed my whole reality to like, oh my gosh, when I get back, I can look at these cute things. But I feel like you are going to, with this clairvoyance, you're really going to be able to see so much it's going on. And the funny thing is, it's like you're going to have really deep and meaningful conversations with this because of that. And you're going to develop an insatiable appetite for knowledge and understanding because in the beginning of spiritual quest, you're going to just devour over books and books and books, um, philosophy, metaphysics, psychology. I had to know everything because I knew it was interconnected. And, um, it's great. Yeah. And I mean, the zodiacs, everything that's all combined, because it's all this beautiful, furtive, flowing energy that brings you back to source, right? So you're going to start to really hear these. And it's important because when we listen, that's when we can garner the knowledge, evaluate it, and also share with others. So here's another message for you. To exchange my gifts with the world is a positive act. Teamwork is necessary. Whilst I can learn from the stories of others, I can create my own mythos. Beauty is eternal. Revenge has its consequences. So as we know the story of Troy, it's like that didn't work out well for people. And the reason why is, is when where our focus goes, our attention goes, um, 
that's where our results come from, right? So if we're focused on revenge, we're not focusing on gifts and exchanging them with others and helping them and lifting them. So it's funny, Hazel, Barry, if you watch this, this is meant for you. So many people are going through remarkable shifts and upgrades and um, it's overwhelming to them at times because you feel compelled to study and learn, study and learn, study and learn and research everything. But then you also want to give and share this knowledge, but choose your audience wisely, this group, okay? It's funny, I had my Archangel medallion and I wore this yesterday yesterday. It's so, um, so soothing and so helpful. And it's also very heavy being silver. And I feel the presence of it. And right away, I'll ask for protection and to slow down and calm down if I'm feeling, you know, angst or a little kooky that I can just sort of settle down because it's a lot of energy. We get a lot of messages and sometimes we need to turn off that faucet. So we'll get one more for you guys. Let's see what's going on. So I salt is about undying love, the love you have shared eternal regardless of the situation. This is to let you know too that you have very loving presences coming in in the form of regular people as well as the angelic forces. Um, you're going to have these funny little things where... Um, you're going to be pondering your state of existence constantly. So you're going to feel like you're in this dreamy world, but somebody's going to pull you back down that you connected in your soul tribe, and they're going to be of great help to you. So any of these people, even if they're on, um, you know, they're on social media, connect with them and ask them questions and um, get that connectivity because it's beautiful. Networking is, is a great thing to do. So that is you guys. Beautiful. That's your energy. Now, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe. And all my links are down below for private reads. I get to those within 48 hours. Um, they take precedence. My Etsy store where I have all this jewelry, and I'll probably put the ring in there today. It's like I, you know, I just got it finished and I love it so much. It's Peridot and it just came out remarkable. Look at that color. But it's like as soon as I put them in there, they disappear and then I then I miss them. But I like to, if I can wear something once, I'm happy. You know what I mean? It's like, because then I can go create more stuff. So that is you guys. So yeah, go check out all my links and please come see me over at Patreon. I am running that course and for as little as a dollar for joining my Patreon page, you're going to get a hundred dollar course. I mean, it's ridiculous and I want people to have this information because it's important. I'm tired of people getting blown off and expecting, um, <clears throat> love and um, communication to be the way it should be. And often if we don't do or say the right things, it doesn't come back to us. So this is just a course in, you know, humanity and all of that. So yeah, come see me over there. So number two, we're on to uh, Malachite Prosperity. I love this. So something I'm hearing right now is that you're going to be called into a leader leadership position. You know, this is a vote of confidence in your ability to be a good leader, whether you're officially like in a supervisory role or not, you are definitely going to have all the quality it takes to fill a leader's shoes. Whatever you're called upon, you've got this. So keep setting a good example and making others feel included. I feel that you're fair, you're diplomatic, you're level-headed, and you're very honest. Keep, you know, dressing how you normally dress, but um, you can definitely get yourself a, a t-shirt that says boss lady and boss man. <laughs> so here's one of your messages too. The Ganges, I forgive and I do not fear. I accept where I am at this moment and thus I can flow and grow from here. So yeah, that's a pretty concise message and of just release. You know what I mean? Accept where you are right now. We can't be at the finish line all the time. That makes no sense. And I do that as well. I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this, this and that. And then I'll be like, oh my God, it's noon. How come I didn't, how, how come I haven't been to Tibet and talked to the Dalai Lama and had lunch with my best friends yet. You know what I mean? Like crazy. I really, really overload my brain. So we have to forgive what we feel we have to accomplish. And of course, knowing we're only human, we cannot do that and let go of anything. If we have done something that, um, you know, that has harmed others, we need to just forget and release that too, because oftentimes it's just a knee jerk reaction. So, you know, just know you can flow, you can flow with whatever comes your way and be successful, especially with this um, really cool leadership energy coming your way. And this is going to help you too. your focused intention, keep your unwaver, you know, keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target and you'll make your mark. So don't get distracted by things and don't overshare with people that are not completely rowing in the same direction as you. Often we'll think we have people in our boat, but they will be drilling holes in the bottom. Uh, you know, you'll often experience if your sort of vibes are really up there and you're garnering attention and stuff, there can be envy and people unfortunately will do that. So keep your eyes open for that. And, um, 
This is a lovely message. I love this. Slow and steady. It's absolutely about once you have that supreme focus, you're going to get to where you want. And this, it will possibly for you spiritually minded people out there, this is a gift that is coming your way or you might be experiencing right now your claircognizance. I love this. So pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are ans they are answered prayers. So cognizance is knowing, you know, that's, we just know. Sometimes I'll do that and I'll have it mixed with Claire audience. Um, oftentimes my mother will chime in and say, you know, get off the highway or do this and that. And I'll later find there was a huge accident. That happens a lot I, in my vehicle. My dad was a race car driver and um, I have I, I'm the most awesome driver. Like everybody feels safe with me. I really watch what's going on. I can be very defensive. I mean, I've eluded so many accidents and it's like, it's a natural skill, but I always pray for help in that. And I always get messages and knowing something is going on ahead. So really listen. If you hear any little thing that's prompting you, listen to it. It's your higher guidance speaking to you and your intuitive messages that you are channeling. So definitely and I've, what I'm hearing right now through this, when you start to trust it, congratulations, because you're going to be stepping into this field of bravery. You're going to be, you know, receiving a hearty dose of it and you're going to be able to apply it to any nerve-wracking situation when it requires boldness brashness and balls you are there you're just going to be able to go for it because you're like you know what i've been sitting in the friggin um keeping i've been a seat warmer long enough i want to get in the game i want to participate right now and you're going to be able to do that and you're going to do it beautifully so that's your energy you guys amazing beautiful so if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe all my links are down below if you want a private read any of my joy at my etsy store come see me a patreon page i'm running that course that would um rather be be rather costly but if you just join for a dollar you can get it and it also supports my channel when you do that and we're having great success with that so thank you guys for all your feedback you make me laugh so much and you know i love that and, the, and my girl that's in the um field doing this and getting these results i swear I, I i am astonished and it takes a lot to astonish me but i'm like wow so step into this you're going to have a bravery streak and it's going to really it's like you're on the driver's seat now. Everybody else better just get the hell out of the way because I keep hearing driving, something about driving. Some of you guys are getting a new car. Let me know if you're getting a new car because I'm hearing that. Something about vehicles, vehicles, trucks, things like that. So I'm very excited for you. So now we're on to number three, Lapis Lazuli, life-changing epiphany. For sure, I feel like that's coming in. And lately, I'm hearing that you guys have feel like you've been doing a balancing act. I feel like you have a lot going on with family, friends, events, and I feel like you have some um, budgeting to do because I feel like there's graduations and things coming up in proms and you're trying to you know garner enough money to make this successful for everybody around and you're really creating a balancing act so just know that that flow and abundance will come to you if you need money for these things these prom events um these um vehicles whatever you need to take care of that it, it you're going to have ample supply of it it's going to come in it's like a divine um timing with that and and i know sometimes when we try to overthink money or abundance or la the lack of will come into play and we don't want that in on our agenda whatsoever so as soon as we think we might not have erased that immediately I always say you know the universe provides it's already here it's already on its way i have what i need plus more and it just kinds of regenerates money regenerates i swear and it goes to the people that expect it to come 100 percent. so here's one of your messages as well um I love this, Sumba Island. Fertility of all kinds is in my birthright. I am connected to all the cycles of the land and the sky. Healthy, healthy fierceness is what is something to be valued. Be patient and that time will come. Yeah, I love that, look at that. This is definitely, one of my past lives is definitely a Mongolian fighter because every time I see anything Mongolian, I flip out, I'm like, I do. My heart starts racing. It gets crazy. And here's one of your gifts that's probably going to be provided for you or you're feeling right now as well. Claire Sentience, Archangel Regul, it says, notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings. And what do they signify? Divine guidance. So the Claire Sentience, you'll, you'll be feeling things. You know, you'll feel something in the pit of your stomach. You'll feel your throat close when you feel like you really need to say something and get it out. You'll feel your hair on your arms stand on end. You'll feel like a cold breeze touch the back of your neck. You'll feel your third eye. Sometimes you'll get a severe sharp pain in that. It's because it's opening. It's realizing things. And um, you're going to feel more drawn to solitude and nature right now um, I feel like 
it's important not to fight against intuition and natural inclinations. So when you feel drawn to this, it's a way to reconnect with the spiritual side of ourselves. So, so answer that call for sure. Um, and you're going to realize like the material things in this world can't bring anything more than temporary pleasure for sure. The world satisfies us when we turn within and we look for our life purpose and we listen to our heart's calling. And part of this is your blossoming process right now with Aracura. It's like you are getting started. So have patience with yourself and your process and don't give up. You are, you're getting started on this remarkable journey that is going to garner you these crazy results that you never knew were even possible. And part of that is through networking, talking to people on social media about their experiences, what they're going through, what's happening to them. And this is quite remarkable in that, you know, it's kind of a magical, mystical world networking, right? It's like, you're expanding your horizons, you're boosting your potential, you're filling your inbox with all kinds of requests, and you're talking to people in this beautiful virtual world. And it's like a sense of adventure. You're giving them ideas, they're giving you ideas, and it's all sort of combining into this magic elixir of, of hope, companionship, and um, easy. It's almost like they're giving you easy access to um, things and also helping you with like stress reduction. They're de-stressing your mind and body because you're discussing things of import to yourself that you wouldn't necessarily discuss with your friends and peers right now. You know what I mean? You, you, you're realizing that you reached um, a thing. So I wanted to pull you one more card. Yeah, that's part of it. Your guardian angels are really all around you right now in a very beautiful, profound way. And you're going to be getting all massive kinds you're also going to be the feather seeker you're going to find feathers everywhere but it's going to give you a sense of comfort and love that you deserve right now so those are your messages number three feel free to go watch everything because they have they have some neat stuff today the messages the guides were like getting chatty early and i was excited to bring this to you so you guys are wonderful and i can't thank you enough i want to say thank you to all my new patrons my my patrons that have been around you guys are remarkable i want to do something really you know extra for you very very soon to show my um, appreciation for you and you know all my viewers and you guys that like subscribe i can't thank you enough you're the ones that keep this rocking and keep me motivated every day to deliver these messages so love and light to you guys have a great day